Hello and welcome to a short presentation on the different post-16 options we have available at Derby County Community Trust. I'd like to start by saying that you do not have to have an interest in football to be able to access all of our courses. Throughout this presentation I'll give you a brief overview of the courses we have available and if after the presentation you're interested in gaining further details on a specific course I've provided the link to the Derby County Community Trust website where you'll be able to register your interest All my contact details are available for you to get in touch directly. This slide outlines the three different courses we have available and the entry requirements to access them, including age and previous qualification achievements. You'll notice we have options for those who have no previous qualifications, as well as options for those of you who have previously achieved good grades. For any uncertainty around entry requirements, please get in touch. We aim to provide a service suitable to all and can discuss the best option for you. So the first of our post-16 options is the traineeship programme. This programme is specifically designed for those of you who are looking to get into employment, education or training, but need some additional support with your employability skills. The programme helps you develop in confidence and understand the different skills and qualities that employers are looking for. We'll spend time working on all elements of job search and application, including CV, writing and interview techniques. We'll work to develop your interpersonal skills and take you on business visits to meet and chat with local employers who may have opportunities available. Alongside 12 weeks worth of workshops, you'll be expected to complete a 100 hour work placement in an industry that's of interest to you and we'll support you in finding that placement. These placements can be in anything from construction to hairdressing. Whatever it is you're interested in will help you find something suitable. Finally, if you've yet to achieve a level four or above in maths and in English or English, you'll access functional skills lessons to support you in gaining these qualifications, which are often the stumbling block to you achieving your next step. The traineeship is designed to be interactive and engaging, spending equal amounts of time in and out of the classroom to suit all learning styles. To be able to access this course, you can't have already achieved a level three qualification, which is A-levels or equivalent. You'll need to be between the ages of 16 and 24 years and not currently in full-time education or work. Next is a short case study on Lauren. Lauren completed her traineeship in February last year. She goes on to talk about the skills she's developed and how the traineeship has supported her. My name's Lauren McCoy. Um, I previously took part in a traineeship for Derby County Community Trust. It was a 12 week traineeship um, involving coaching uh, children, young children. I was knocking about with the wrong crowd. Like I kept getting myself into trouble all the time and it just wasn't for me. And I, I did want to sort my career out. I wanted to achieve positive things. So I've always wanted to do something with coaching. So my, my dad that, uh, saw it on a social media page. I think it was Twitter and um, he sent it me, he sent me a link and he was like, Lauren, apply for this. this, this sounds like you. And then I applied for it and then I went, I got my interview with Jodie and then I think I was starting like two weeks after that. My name's Jodie Hayes and I'm the Education Lead at Derby County Community Trust. The traineeship programme is a 12 week programme designed to support young people not in employment, education or training um, to improve their key employability skills. A lot of young people that come to us are looking to improve their confidence initially, um, but we also look to build resilience, um, to get them back into routine, for them to realise what they're actually capable of um, and to see them kind of succeed in an area of work in which they'd like to succeed. I feel like my confidence has grew a lot since I've been on this traineeship because I was nervous to do a lot of stuff, which has helped me and it's benefited me because when I go into interviews it's helped me I can respond back, whereas before I would like keep quiet and I was stuck. Like, I would be like, "Oh, what do I say to this?" Now I know what I'm saying. Lauren uh, turned up to us and lacked confidence initially. She had a bit of trouble at school before, and um, she was on our NCS program during the summer, but wasn't really happy with how she, how she'd achieved on that. No idea of what she wanted to do for work placement really, but was willing and happy to try anything. Um, and that's the beauty of. What she's achieved over the last 12 weeks is that she's thrown herself at everything she could possibly have thrown herself at to get that experience.
very shocked that I got it because it was it was a nice thing for, like, for me to get because I thought I was I thought I was doing really that bad at the start off with at the training gym. But um, then I grew to like it, I grew to get into the coaching, like the aspects of the coaching and I was happy. So getting that medal, it meant a lot to me to be fair, it helped me and it made me realise this is something that I do want to make a full-time career out of, I really do. You, you join the traineeship because the amount of stuff that's in this traineeship, the opportunities that are like literally handed to you on a daily basis, going out and coaching and stuff, honestly, get just get stuck in because it is a very, very good opportunity and I don't think a lot of people will want to miss out on it, to be fair. Honestly, it is, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely thing to do and you'll come out at the end of it and you'll, you'll be a different person like I am. I think the traineeship programme is a really good opportunity for young people to come in and realise what they, or the potential that they have and I think if you can throw yourself at every opportunity um, that we provide you, there's no, nothing to hold you back. They have helped me a lot and I, it is appreciated. The help that they've given me has boosted my confidence. It's, made, it's just made me, a, made me a new person really, a new lover. The second programme we have to offer is our Football and Education programme. This is for those of you between the ages of 16 and 18 who want to combine completing a college qualification alongside playing competitive football. We have both level two and level three vocational courses at a number of venues across the county, including the University of Derby through Buxton and Leek College, Chesterfield College, Derby City Centre, and we also partner with Friesland School in San Diego to offer both the vocational level three and an A-level option for those of you who want to study more than sport. As a student on one of these courses, you'll have access to a minimum of three training sessions a week delivered by highly qualified coaches. All of our teams, including our female squad, play on a Wednesday in the EFL League against other community trust clubs, including Nottingham Forest, Sheffield United, Aston Villa and so on. The next video is an interview with David Gabor. David started with us on a traineeship and then moved on to complete his level three with us. Here's what he had to say when interviewed by Mark Edworthy, previous player and now ambassador for Derby County. Hi, Mark Edworthy here at Derby Racecourse to meet an inspirational young man by the name of David Gabor. David's involved in the Derby County Community Trust Education Programme and he's also involved with the elite football team. So let's go and meet him. So David, great to meet you here at the racecourse today with the elite football team. Come over from the Czech Republic. Uh, was often seen around Normanton Park watching football and you really wanted to aspire to be a football player. Is that still the case? Yeah, I'm trying to make a professional one day because my dad used to be a footballer. So I'm trying to like achieve the steps of making it through football. And obviously my family, it's all around to do with football. So I chose to be a footballer one day. You following your father's footsteps, yeah. who did your dad play for? He used to play for this team in Europe called Sigma Olomouc. It's a football, Czech football team. And obviously he retired, before, well he didn't retire, but he had a slight injury with his knee and then he had to stop playing football. So, so watching football at Normanton Park, you got interested in the Derby County Community Trust. They realised your enthusiasm and now you went on to a traineeship, uh, still playing football with the elite football team. And how's that been? It was actually great. I started off traineeship to try and get my academic stuff, like maths and English. I feel like I've improved on my education stuff. Then started off football stuff, I started off a team below and I had to like improve my way to get to elite now where I am. So I just put my mind to it, like I want to improve as a player and then got where I want to be. So now you're in the elite football team, second joint scorer I believe? Yeah, yeah, first, first. First now, my mistake. So I was told the wrong information, so made that a really good statement. So top, how many goals you scored? 24 in 17 games. Wow, and talk us about the traineeship because you was voted a most improved traineeship. Yeah, yeah, because I've got a lot of people to try to get involved with it as well, not just myself. So I started that traineeship like in summertime. So I've tried to focus on my, like I said, on my academic stuff. I just wanted, to, because I, I didn't do well in, uh, in school. So I tried to improve in it. My master in English, English especially, started from there. So the education has been really important? Yeah, it's, education to me is really important because if I didn't make it in football, I want a backup plan where I can go, you know, do something else, for example. So you know, also to encourage people as well to say, of course, we, you want to be a football player and the ambition is still there, but education is also vitally important to fall back on, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, because 
I'm a role model to other people where I tell them to follow my steps, for example, because not everyone where I come from is actually doing like a football or academy, they just do kind of bad stuff. So I told them to like, you know, put your head up and get on with it. We take put, like, we did kicks program, if you know what that is, and we, I do coach there to try, you know, make people understand how important it is. And that's also going to encourage you to help in your um, employability skills as well, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, because it will just get me somewhere in life, I think. Well, you're enthusiastic as ever, top goal scorer, make sure we get that correct. And we talked about it before, to become a football player, I was fortunate to play myself, it is hard work and dedication, and I think you've got that. Yeah, I've definitely, I think I've got it in me, I like to work hard everything I do, I just want to take it to the next step, I don't give up. If I've got a dream to chase, I'll chase it. The final programme I'd like to present to you is our Community Football Coaching degree in partnership with the University of South Wales and the EFL Trust. If you're interested in a career in coaching, then this is the ideal degree to get you started. Over the first two years, you'll complete a foundation degree with the option to top up to a full BSc in Community Football Coaching, Development and Administration in your third year. While studying with us, you'll predominantly be based in Derby, but we'll make a number of residential visits to the University of South Wales, where you'll have access to their state-of-the-art facilities. Day to day, you'll be supported through your academic and practical work by mentors from Derby County Community Trust, whilst lecturers from the University of South Wales will provide lecture content by an online platform called Blackboard. As a student with us, you'll be exposed to a wide variety of coaching opportunities within the Trust to prepare you for the world of work. Through our link with the EFL Trust, you'll gain both your Level 1 and Level 2 FA coaching badges. The eligibility criteria for this degree can be found on our website. To give you an idea of what your initial residential visit will look like, I've included the following video. Here at Derby County Community Trust, we aim to provide you with a high quality education journey from start to finish. We address the direct needs of all learners by advising on the most suitable option for them. Each learner has access to their own learning mentor who will support you throughout your time with us. Once you join us, you become part of the Derby County Community Trust family, meaning you'll have access to a wide number of programmes and opportunities to support your personal development. And those opportunities continue even once you've finished studying with us. We put you, the learners, at the heart of every decision we make to ensure that your experience with us is the best it can be. If you're interested in gaining more information on any of the programmes I have briefly discussed here or any of the other services we offer as a trust, please visit the Derby County Community Trust website where you'll be able to register your interest. I've also provided my contact details so if you have any specific queries, feel free to get in touch. Thank you for listening. I hope you found it useful.